Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest World Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ and in this video we are again going to be doing a battle against the King Hidra. So this mega monster right over here. So um, this mega monster um, is not uh, especially not as difficult as Grizzard but um, definitely you need a strategy uh, against it. So uh, with this video I want to actually use uh, a Dorma based team for this battle. So this is going to be somewhat similar to the Dorma team that I was using using before in a previous video but things have slightly changed uh, before I had my armamentalist as a spellcaster but I actually decided to change it to an attacker so uh, equipped with the uh, dark sword armor so before that was on my ranger but now I put the beast claw back onto the ranger so here uh, with the armamentalist I'm going to have him equipped with uh, again the dark sword armor uh, the sword uh, the Dark Star armor leggings. Uh, I'm going to have the Beast armor on, and then I'm also going to have on the Helmet of Mysteries. Uh, I only have this on. It doesn't give me any particular boost to Dorma damage, but it gives me pretty good defense score, so that's the reason why I have it on. Then here for Souls, I'm going to have on the Great Bear, Oni Combo, Dragon Rider, and I'm going to have on the Horror Beast. All of these give me pluses to Dorma damage, so that's going to work out well. So here for this A-grade soul, plus 7% to Dorma damage, plus 3% to the damage to dragons. Then here, plus 10% to Dorma damage, uh, to Dorma, for Dorma damage, and then plus 6% to zombies, which won't actually do anything for this particular battle. But pretty much all the other souls are actually going to be the same for uh, my Battlemaster and also for my Ranger. Uh, the only thing that's going to be different for my Ranger is, of course, the weapon, the Beast Claw, and then also the leggings I'm going to have on the uh, Ward Armor leggings. So with that said, I want to get straight into this particular battle. So uh, again, I'll be using the stream strategy, so hopefully things do go well. So with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So pretty much going to be the same strategy as before, so going to be using Fubaha and Protective Shield. So here we go with my Ranger with Fubaha. Protective Shield with my Battlemaster. Protective Shield with my Armamentalist. And Lukani with my Sage. Oh. Okay. And here's Tindo Shishi. So next attack. Intense Flame. Then Bite on Sage and Battlemaster. Okay, so no problems there. Then here again, Subaha, Battle Master, going to be Stemmy, then Armamentalist is going to be Force Burst, I'm going to heal up with my Sage. Hopefully I can get an Echo, like I did last turn, which I did not. Let's see what happens next next turn. Okay, so ooh, okay. So now uh, my ranger actually uh, got cursed due to the uh, uh, breath of resentment. But here I'm going to try to attack and hopefully get a shadow bind, which I did. So great there. Um, so I have two turns to heal up. Um. Uh. Yes, so I don't have the new weapon, the new healing weapon, otherwise I'd be able to lift Curse. So that's the one good thing about uh, that particular weapon, is that it does actually lift Curse, so if you're in a situation like this, um, that would be very useful. I've actually been joined by another player, but um, that's not really going to change much of anything. 
And then here, another heal. Hopefully, again, I can get an echo. No echo there. But let's see what happens here. Probably a fierce roar. Ah, no. So there goes, um, fiery explosion. So I'm going to have to heal up with the characters I have. I got another, uh, force break. Intense flame. Uh, double bite that actually took out my battle master. So here, what I'm going to do is, um, I'll actually resurrect my ranger and heal up with my sage. Again, there goes uh, Breath of Resentment. And, ooh, okay. So here, what I'll do is... Attack with my Battlemaster. And then probably with my Armamentalist, this will finish off King Hedera. Yes. Okay, so that was my battle against King Hidora with my Dorma team. And I get a... Aesol. Ooh, nice. Okay, so that was my battle again with uh, King Hidora using my Dorma team. So things actually went okay for this particular battle. Um, things went a tad bit sideways. A uh, couple of things happened. One thing that happened was uh, my ranger got cursed, so that lowered the, um, his, cut his HP in half. Then, um, uh, after some great damage to, uh, the King Kidora, um, he all of a sudden actually used, uh, Fiery Explosion, which, um, I wasn't expecting since, uh, he didn't actually show signs of it. But I think it's because of the amount of damage that I did to him in one turn. But, um, yeah, besides that, things actually were working out well. Um, uh, I got a double bite twice on, uh, on my, um, on my Sage. So, uh, she blocked the first attack. She actually blocked the second attack after she actually died. But, um, yeah, but, uh, still things actually did work out with this team. So again, I could recommend uh, this particular team uh, with uh, these four particular weapons. Uh, I don't think I'll try a spellcasting one for my armamentalist. I think uh, my armamentalist was doing actually pretty good damage with the uh, dark sword on the sword. So uh, yeah, with that said, I'm going to end this video here. Most likely my next video will be with a... Mera team or an EO team. I'm not sure which one, but um, I will be doing another one uh, Another video soon. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like if you would like to see more Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video